first time playing a good corn because we don't have one of those students. Well, we have we have a couple corns. <laughs> no, we don't. It's, it's like now it, now it's just me and my corns like fucked up. Um, yeah, starting off on my lot, uh, pretty good stage for both characters. Uh, probably corns best and one of Bayo's best. Bayo, Bayo's final. Yeah, but this is definitely where Corn's pin comes in handy. Yeah, Corn, Corn will have a lot of good stuff like juggling and pins, but Bayo will just camp out with bullets and that's hard to use this part. Ooh, nice Oh, pin. does he have his jump? Nice. Saving his jump. Good. Yeah, this, this can... Both of these, both of these matches, uh, matchups can be hard if you don't have experience, especially on this stage. Connor definitely does have some experience, and I think Eshe, from the way he's been playing, he definitely knows a thing or two about Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. yeah, it'd be hard not to know anything about Bayonetta at this point in the game. Interesting, uh, like, pivot message. I don't see that often. Oh, nice down air. <laughs> Oh, he actually... I think Connor kind of punished that. Yeah. I wouldn't have gotten a little bit against that. <laughs> a clown. <laughs> I just died. Man, yeah, just a little bit too slow. A very even game right now. The number, number one seed versus number one at Steve. Yep. Oh, oh up there. Yeah, that's, that's a really good move for this because Bayo's in the sky a lot. It kills quite early. And of course, Connor has a little bit of trouble killing. Yeah. That's kind of why we've been seeing all these uh, smash attacks. Mm -hmm. Good friend trap. Connor needs to be sure not to try to punish things that are safe. Because, uh, like, core and back air and forward air and stuff, I saw Connor trying to punish those and he couldn't do any Oh my gosh, nasty. that kills. That's disgusting. Disgusting core and F snare. Oh, core. So, yeah, good spacing. What do you think Connor could have done to try and. Try, what, do you think, what do you think you can do to try and turn things around? Oh, just play a little safer. This this is a I, I like this pick because Rosalina think, has really good juggling like against Corrin. But do you think this is a better matchup? Um, or is this just a counter pick? I think I think um Bayo and Rosa both like are pretty close to even against Corrin. Um, in, hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Connor's definitely a really aggressive Rosalie number and yeah. I think it's helping right now. I think Eshe wants up some time to try and feel him out. Like I said, Rosa juggles really hard against Corrin and can edge guard and kill it. Connor not really going for that. Blood traps are good too though. Downer? Yep, yep. downer. That's it. No, not good. Another one. I gotta get another one. Uh, another one. Really nice, like, edge play coming out from Connor right now. Yeah. And making the most out of Solo Rosa. He's only at 3% tacked onto him. He's done around 118. Yeah, now we know he's just gonna stay back. Not run in. That's not a hard part. Randomly. <laughs> the hard part, Connor's great at, like, getting them to this percent. But, like, playing this safe Rosa and Luma is not something he's really known for. I mean, he, he can definitely do it. I mean, if he couldn't, he wouldn't, like, beat post-its and stuff. I don't think he beat post-its with Rosa. Hasn't he? Post-its Meta Knight? No. Oh, so. well, like, I was talking about Sheik, like, back in the day. Maybe his playstyle has changed, I guess. I haven't seen much of his Rosa recently. Oh, good pin, but he's gonna oh. die. Oh. The up air. I thought he was gonna I, die from I him. thought he died because I heard I heard the, the game audio from the actual setup. Yeah, Connor's aggressive Rosa is doing really well right now. Yeah. He only has 53 on him. I really like this pin. Also, this is on Smash Bros. I wonder why he picked that. Because Corrin, Corrin can kill off the side with like pins and stuff, but Rosa will like to kill off the top. And, and I think this is a relatively neutral stage, and also it might yeah. be because of the Luma like can just be on the platform sometimes and she can get saved. I guess. Who knows? Connor works in 
mysterious ones. Nice patience. Yeah, SJ is not going down without a fight. Still having some trouble getting in. I think Connor needs to adapt to like Corin's range though. So. He's getting dropped by a lot of like just full hop pins and aerials and stuff. Oh, yeah, that should be it. Oh, oh nice guy. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Good up there. Good up there. Okay. Close game here. A huge lead Connor has. Oh, it's back now. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Good, uh, uh, I don't know if that was Lunar Landing, but Rose is the Luma area. Can't, can't just let Corn do that whenever he wants. Is it really possible for uh, SJ to make this comeback? Oh, yeah, for sure. He just needs to get rid of Luma and then, like, get two openings. But Connor's not really letting him do that. Yeah, that is, it's still tough. Oh, that downer is bad. Another downer? Yeah, yeah there we go. That that's should a, be it. That's a good corn. Yeah, so. Rosa pick really worked lot, out. Lots of juggling, lots of, lots of edge guard. Um, but the still question close is, game. does SJ have a counter pick for Rosa? I feel like he doesn't need one because Corin is pretty decent about uh, against Rosa, and his other character is Bowser. Yeah, you can't really. I guess yeah, the best uh, definitely do not go Bowser into uh, Rosa. That's not a fun matchup. Yeah. <laughs> It just seems like the issue with Korn is that Korn can't really get out of a lot of these juggles. Yeah, it's, it's really hard because Korn doesn't have the best for speed. Um, also, landing options are or not, not, not landing options, it's just like the down air is weird. The one thing that SJ is doing really well is just getting rid of Luma, like, really quickly. Especially in the beginning of the match, he got a lot of percent off it. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my gosh! God. 54 Are, after hit. Lord. 54. Lord have mercy on this Corrin. This Corrin didn't know what she was getting into. Luma just being the savior to Stevens right now. Yeah, SJ... Good at killing it, as he says. Barely misspacing that S smash, and you're gonna get dash attack for it. Oh, oh nice. Nice B reverse. Uh, and now it's even again. That's gotta be bad. Just never lose your shit. I agree. That's essentially, like, when you're playing any character like Bayonetta or Rosa, they can just kill you really early. Just never lose neutral. Mm -hmm. Never get hit. Uh, I would, that, that's a good idea. I would advise doing it. Yeah. It seemed like Connor was winning it. It was like close to winning it all. And then just like oh, that. Yep, there you go. That's why I don't like this matchup. <laughs> yeah, that downer is so good. Dumb. Dumb move. But it's, it's helping Steven, so it's okay right now. So it's 2 1. Connor's favor. Are we going to see some sort of. see a reset? Should we say the like loser and winner thing in their names? We should yeah. probably do that. Oh uh, fuck. Okay. W. Nice. Going back to Lilat. I think Corn probably has the advantage on this stage, but they both. Uh, have a good jungle and stuff here. Well, when they went Lilat last time, Connor was baiting out of so we might see something different here with yep. Rosa. I mean, it, it was it was the Corrin's counter pick. So I would hope so. Dare spike last five frames on oh, Rosa and Luma. I bet, I bet Corrin's also last five frames, so why don't you just down air with Corrin? Don't, don't down air. It's a great move. Oh, okay. That, that upper scared me. Connor's not doing so well, but... Yeah, this is the, the juggling I was talking about. It's, it's, it's good for Corrin on the stage, because like, the platforms are really low. Oh, there's that downer. Yeah, there's the downer. It works. It's, it's a good mix-up. There goes Luma to get up. Oh, 
Good spot, though. Oh, nice. Back here catching that roll. Good. It's not looking too good for Connor right now. Hmm. Esha is kind of, he's just gotten a lot of like juggles and I don't think Connor's gotten too many neutral wins. Yeah, I, I think Connor might want to ban the violin. Yeah, especially for this matchup. His, his track record on this stage is not all too good. It's Korn's best, best stage. I guess he didn't know that. Maybe. I wonder what the ban was then. If it wasn't my lap. I, I want to say it was FD. Because, like, that makes sense. Rose wants platforms. I hear Rose. Oh, oh double up smash. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's even again, basically. Pretty much. Oh, and there's Luma. Yeah. Dropping the juggle, but Luma's dead, so. He can open up uh, Rosa a little more. Still going. Nice uh, back air to get out of it. A little reversal. Oh, okay. Pin. Connor just needs to make sure that he can even up his stock. Oh, with Air Dodge Luma. Reed almost killing it. 56 again. Yeah, he does have the benefit of having Lilac with these hot bears. Nice pin. Connor needs to shield those more. He's gotten hit with that like five times. Up smash, will it kill? No, nice DI, but he doesn't have Luma, so gonna be a bit of an issue. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. That get up attack. When will... So Corbin's uh, throws will kill pretty early at this stage, like maybe 120. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say 120. 130? Like 140, 150. With Rage, it would be like 130, I guess. So game five, set one of Grands. Will, will we see NYU take it or will Connor get to try again? So now we can't see a Lilat pick, and I really hope Connor is uh, choose to go to Lilat. Is DSR enabled here? No. Okay, yeah, I like this battlefield. DSR is not enabled here. All right. Battlefield. Um, what's this stage like? Uh, oh, that could have been it already. <laughs> well, the commentators are basically biased towards Stevens, so... <laughs> the SJ's account. Uh, not even SJ supporting himself. Trust no one, not even yourself. Speaking, oh. trusting. There, there's Luma again. Someone that Connor can trust. I wonder why he didn't pick Dream World. Mm. Maybe he thought that Corrin might be able to kill off the top a little bit easier? I don't know. Uh, I feel like Rosa definitely kills more often off the top because there's up smash and then the super early up airs, which we saw almost kill before. So that could have changed the tide of the game. Oh my god, almost killing with that down here. Oh no, he, that's... He, he might die from it? Okay, he's good. Nice recovery. Nice. nice I don't think this uh, stage choice is really working out for Connor. Um, it might not be the stage, it might just be SJ's adaptation. Oh, that back air, that should be it, yeah. Yeah, SJ is just nailing these back airs. Uh, Connor needs to like mix up his timing on get ups, I guess. The back airs and the uh, pins, that's where we're really winning the, winning the set. Yeah. Spamming the forward smash a little bit. Connor, Connor has to get these down here more often. Like, if he had gotten the timing on that one earlier, this, this game would be going really differently. Corn's back air broke. Better than Cloud's. I agree. Yeah, I, I think so. Oh, that up smash. If he had Luma, then it might have actually connected. Oh. 
Connor needs to try and get his stock off with as little extra credit as possible. Nice oh up smash. Catching the jump. Pulling him out, but 48% deficit. And That's okay. He doesn't need that. No, uh, it's like here. Be ultra instant go here. There it is. He hasn't really uh, been going for that too much. But now Luma's gone. This is Eshe's opportunity to get like a kill or just a lot of percent. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, my God. oh no, that was that was some spaghetti right there. I don't think game, he wanted to go game for five it. Spaghetti. These these rolls. Oh, this is for glory. What is happening? For glory. Connor is basically finally punishing the rolls. No, he punished the, the dragon thing. Dragon one. Side B. Connor is really fond of the roll option. You can't grab back air. Don't do that, Connor. This is not looking too good. It's a 60% deficit. Especially with oh, no. Luma's gone. Yeah. Corrin, Corrin definitely can kill Luma really easily. That's that's one thing that like make this makes this matchup terrible. Yeah, Connor is definitely fishing for grab a little bit too much. But that's something that a lot of the solo Rosas do. Yeah, it's it's probably like it's the safest option. Most rewarding option. Oh uh, no, was that was safe. not good. I don't know if he should have put Luma out there like that. This isn't looking too good. All right, down air will kill now from from Rosa. So he just needs that. He just needs this some is, sort of this miracle is full from bias Sakurai. Commentary right now. All right, throw him off the stage. All right, down air. You got to do. All right, whatever, whatever. He has one more opportunity, maybe. He's at 145. As Connor just needs some sort of miracle right now. He's gotta handle this pressure a little bit better, which he's doing. Oh, that should oh, be no. it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. GG's to NYU. NYU beat Stevens yet again, but we still have a crew battle. Yeah, we're gonna beat them in the crew battle. Well, I hope you'll join us again for the crew battle.